Hi everybody, Dan with TrendSpider here, and I'm here to show you one of the coolest and most exciting new features that we just launched in the TrendSpider platform. It's called the Market Scanner, and it's a tool designed to help you search the market for symbols that match your technical criteria. It will save you countless hours of staring at charts and make you more accurate and help you make smarter, more efficient, better timed trading decisions. Let me show you how it works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to click on Market Scanner in the top right corner. This is going to open up the Market Scanner dialog along the bottom. When you first log in, you're going to see there's a list on the left hand side. These are pre-built scans that come with your account. There's several dozen of them. Feel free to look through them for inspiration or whatnot. You can also see when you select one of these, it shows you the conditions within that scan. So you can see what exactly you're searching the market for. Above that, you have a little box where you can type a name. Uh, this can be anything that you want to call the scan. Keep it handy because this is how you will later reference these scans in Smart Watchlist. Next, you tell it what universe you want to search through. A universe is a list of symbols. It can be a standard universe like somebody's NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange indices. It can be the S&P 500 or it can be a watch list that you build yourself. It can be any of these things, anything you can dream up. The next two things you're going to decide on when you conduct a scan is the type of chart you're scanning it on. So you can choose to scan a standard candlestick chart. That's called a generic open high low close chart. Or you can search on a Heikinashi chart or a raindrop chart or a line chart. The reason some of these are split out this way is because they calculate open and close prices differently. Raindrops have left and right volume weighted prices. Heikinashi has an average price and generic open high low close is your standard candle. But since they all calculate those things differently, you need to tell the system which one you want to scan across. So we're going to just select generic open high low close. The last thing to decide on is this current candle checkbox. Now, this is important to understand. This checkbox tells the system whether it will consider a currently open candle, the current candle, as part of the scan. Right now, it's about 5 p.m. Chicago time, so the market's closed. But if the market were open, this would be an important condition to consider because if the box is checked, it will consider any candle, even one that has not fully closed yet. So that's it. We've defined what we're looking for. We've defined the type of chart we're looking on and we've defined the list of symbols that we're going to search through. All that's left is to click the scan button. You'll notice that the system will instantly start to search the S&P 100 index here and try to find any symbol that fits this criteria. And you can see that this is the watch list that it generated for me when I was searching this S&P 100 index for these types of symbols. One thing that's really neat is I just searched on the 65 minute chart, but let's say I wonder which symbols in S&P 100 have the same pattern on it, but this time on the five minute chart. I don't have to change in each individual condition. I can just go here, select five minute. It will update all of these conditions here and I can click scan again. And you'll see that this will now find different symbols in a different watch list on the five minute chart this time that will show me which symbols in the market fit this conditional criteria. Now, I just, I just want to take a moment and build a whole new scan from scratch because it's really important to convey just how easy and powerful this is. Let's say that we want to find any symbol in the Dow Jones 30 or another list we may switch to where on the 90 minute chart, the RSI indicator called relative strength index is below, call it oversold, so we'll call it 40. If we want to find any symbol like that, we just throw that condition in there and the system will generate this list, right? Which is really cool because now I have a list of symbols where this condition is met. Now I can go and refine this. I can say, gosh, that's too many symbols. I want to also only find them where the, on the most recent candle on the five minute chart has ticked up, meaning the close has increased over the previous candle. So I can now add that extra layer and generate a list of symbols where that's true. And now it looks like Boeing BA is the only one out of the Dow Jones 30 where the RSI is oversold right now on the 90 minute chart, but on the five minute chart, we've seen a candle uptick. And if we zoom in here, we can see what that looks like on this chart. Now I've conducted a few little scans here. Let's say that I like this scan. I can call this RSI 
plus uptick. And I can save this. And now I've saved this watch list. And now I can hide the market scanner. Remember earlier I built that TD pattern scanner? Well, that's up here already. So I can now select this other scanner that I just built a second ago called RSI plus uptick and open that here. And this is one of the beautiful things about TrendSpider's system here. You can have multiple watch lists open and these watch lists can be a mixture of your scan results. They can be a standard watch list and so forth. And if a particular symbol just happens to be in two separate watch lists, we don't have that here with our scans. Maybe we do on a different scan here. But let's say that we've got, you know, symbols that are showing up in multiple watch lists. Well, if you click on them and that happens to be the case, like the Dow Jones 30 and this other scan I open here, it will show you that as well. So if you happen to have two distinct scans and the same symbol keeps showing up in all of them, that will become very clear to you as well. Hopefully you can see how truly powerful this is and how this can save you a lot of time and help you make smarter, faster, more efficient, better time trading decisions. If you're interested in it, give it a shot. We're offering a launch promo right now. It's, I believe, 25% off uh, any of our plans. And you can, of course, get a seven-day free trial at the very front of that to give you a chance to try it out and make up your own mind. So I hope you decide to give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks and have a great day.